Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I will be your cruise director today. So what we're doing today is playing in the brand new Danessa Myrick's uh, Blooming Romance. Yeah, Groundwork Blooming Romance palette. So these are a cream pomade and a powder product. It is the second one in the range after her defining neutrals which is this one here which I already have filmed something up live with so we're going to get into that I have prepped most of my face so um, primer foundation all of that jazz bit of bronzer everything that I use will be in the description box for this video I've already done my brows using funnily enough using a mix of these two darker shades so they lean slightly a dark ready brown auburn but they actually work and I'll show you something else that I've done after but before we get into it don't forget to please subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell to be uploaded when any new video goes live and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up so let's get into it So this is the second in the palettes. Obviously it is a more rosy leaning vibe with it. A row of quite light ones which most people that are my colouring tend to stick to and then a darker row but we can play in all of that. What I do want to show you is this darkest pomade. I'm just getting a contour brush into it for a minute. I desperately need to um, color my hair I've just done this side and you can just see up here I am using this to color my roots so let's just darken up it'll also make my hair look thicker my hair is quite fine you can see my scalp through all of here so let's just use this to intensify it obviously if we go out in the rain then we're probably going to be in all sorts of trouble but we're not going to go out in any rain but that just adds a bit of depth back to the root of my hair and fills it in and makes it look a little bit thicker so hot little tip from me to you so first up we are going to go in today with hmm trying to think okay we'll go in with this lighter rosy one what is that called smitten I just have to get the light to reflect off it it's written big enough but just the way I need the light to reflect off it for me to be able to read it force of habit wanting to tap off there's nothing to tap off with these uh, I'll do this eye so again it's a creamy pomade formula And that just picks up really nicely on the brush I'm just using sort of a dense angled fluffy brush excuse my voice still recovering from COVID I am trying to play catch up and filming quite a few videos in one day but what I am saying is I'm having to have a decent rest in between them um, not only because of fatigue but just because of it taking it out on my voice my throat keeps drying out and my voice gets really scratchy so we're working with what we are people as you can see that's just built up nicely a nice little flush of color there okay fluffy brush now going into the powder version of smitten this one we do tap off and that's just to set it now if you've watched the other video for the defining neutrals if you don't have hooded eyes you may not want to set this but given that I have super hooded eyes 
like if you're not worried about longevity then it's not going to be an issue for you but given that I have super hooded eyes I wouldn't do this without setting it down just for the ability to make it last so this powder is going out further than what the pomade is just to blow it out a bit okay going in with this darker purple she allure now and your brush really grips into it when you dig into that pomade and this is a flower beauty jewel ended brush um, this is slightly wider and flatter depending on your angle and this does not come out the exact shade that it does in the pan oh but geez look at that it's just starting to deepen really nice oh oh yeah I like that it was a real straw I wasn't sure whether I wanted to go in with these sorts of colors or if I wanted to do a more sort of warm look but we're going with this for now and obviously over time I will add some more looks whether that is with via YouTube or whether I do some looks on Instagram uh, moving it down to an angle now and going back in with this first just to help buff that out so using the other end of this flower beauty brush in allure now this is not my favorite brush I might add um, but I just wanted to use it with this I love flower beauty brushes don't get me wrong I love all their face brushes this just is not this is my least favorite out of all their brushes we're going now with just the powder from crush which is the lightest shade in here just to pull back a bit going in now on a flat packer into Maverick just on the outer corner here And it's not giving me the depth that I want there so I'm going to use bliss which is the next darker shade see if that changes it and packs that over the top which gives me just a little bit more of a burgundy depth to it as opposed to slightly cooler than what bliss is okay so before I I'm just using a clean brush before I go in to the powder of that and I'll just use this brush to go into the powder but I'm just wanting to blend that and as you can see that immediately with a fluffy blender brush just blends out so going into the powder of bliss and packing that on you can see that's giving it a bit of depth now back into the powder and I'll just tuck that in so as you can see this is just blending out super easy and I said this about the other palette that if you are not super confident in your eyeshadow application about blending it out this is really good in that it blends out you barely have to touch it and it starts to blend out so, which I think is really really um, 
I think this is actually quite groundbreaking in how easily it blends out. Using Crush the Lighter Shade, we're going to load up a flat brush and go all over our lid. That pomade shade, I don't know what it's going to look like when it's got powder over the top of it, but that's a really pretty shade in itself. Having used Crush the pomade on my lid, I'm now I've cleaned off the same brush and just going into the powder version of it, tap off and pat that all over the lid just to set that down. And this is the most important shade to set down in actual fact, given, oh, there's a bit of gook, given that it's on our mobile lid. So that is the one that is most likely to want to crease, particularly if you have hooded eyes. Just using a little bit more of the powder underneath the brow bone. Now it's not going to do too much here. It's very fleshy looking I have lined under my eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk uh, under my eyes my waterline okay going in with Maverick which is this one here which we've already used on our lid and stamping that along our lash line now to set that what are we going to do we'll use a very small bullet brush going into the powder version of Maverick and I think then we will use probably smitten um, and buff that out a bit more but this using this and the powder version gives us a bit more control over this cream under the eye because you run the big risk with this under the eye of it going everywhere and now going in with the powder of smitten just underneath that now to really set that down and lock it in and diffuse it out a bit so we're done with the eyes pretty much now um, I'll just use this brush that I just used to smoke everything out just to tap in that in a corner again and then getting one of our buffing brushes that we used for the outer corner and just finessing we'll now go in with blush look at it's, it's super tempting to keep to the shades that we've used on here but we'll go for the mid shade which is dreamy this shade here um, what I will say with this is if you're like me and you have a lot of palettes that that you can use a bit but you don't really notice that you're getting through using that's not going to happen with this you can see it is used because it is a pomade 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 I say pomade you say potato I say potato That's a really, really pretty shade. Mm. Oh, that's a beautiful shade. As is. Now, trying to get 
it can be done it is difficult you have to this is not a particularly big brush but you have to work it around and just over the top of that to set it down oh, that's really nice that shade was not calling to me in this palette but this is a beautiful blush shade like beautiful <laughs> sorry I have to keep stopping and taking a drink because my vocal cords are drying out just because this is the most talking that I've done in the last week I've been pretty quiet going in with the uh, Maybelline Master Chrome in look I can't read the shade of the highlighter it's 050 which is a rosy gold shade which pairs beautifully with that blush oh. I'm just going to go and put some setting spray on put some mascara on and do some lips and I'll be right back go in with evermore which it's pretty dark but we'll see how we're going to go as a lip liner now obviously you can use your fingers but I learned from the first one this actually works better with a brush Let's be careful with it. Now I've done the outer part of my lips with Evermore and I think we'll use Allure and let's see how that goes. So where I guess you can custom blend your shade. And I'm going to go in with Smitten now, which is lighter again. And just use that over the top of all of it. And the automatic reaction is to want to to want to rub your lips together to blend it but it doesn't really do that uh, you see that's looking a little bit dry on my lips because my lips have been through a lot today but I'll grab a gloss and I've just grabbed the NARS orgasm gloss because it's what I've got here in front of me just to take away give this a bit of slip and to take away the dryness of how it looks so that's the finished look um, that blush I love it as a blush I'm really really keen to play around with this some more I think this is a really beautiful look the name blooming romance really really suits what you get out of this now I know I've got highlighter on here but that marries perfectly in with this blush this might be my new favorite blush shade which makes me want to try it more um, I think that I'll get more use out of this maybe as a blush palette I don't know that being said this eye look is really really pretty I'm really keen to play around with them more um, <clears throat> these are expensive palettes but that being said there is nothing 
on the market like these at the moment that I can think of off the top of my head. So with that being said, do I think that both of these are worth the money? Absolutely. I am really keen to see what her next one will be how she'll expand upon the range and I'm really really keen these are the first two Janessa Myricks products that I have purchased so I haven't had the chance to try out anything else yet now and I'm really really keen to I didn't try out yummy skin or the blur balm whatever it was called it's really making me want to do that just because of how these sit on my skin and the more that I look at it in my mirror the more I'm really 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 happy with the look like this is beautiful so if you are on the fence which one would I recommend out of these two they are completely different things as far as I'm concerned they work really well together I'm not using this one today though but they would work really real really well together this would build upon this so this for your base and then this on top of that if I was only picking one out of the two I think it'd be this though maybe if I played with this a bit differently and added in a different highlighter instead of not using any highlighters maybe if I put a blush on instead of just using that so either way I'm really sorry there's a fly in here with me I didn't shut the door Ugh. either way these are fantastic um, but again if you are not sure which one to get in you've been on the fence about it I'd probably go with this one first because um, hey dang she's pretty really like it um that is it my friends yeah gosh i've really enjoyed this one today oh yeah look i just i can't stop looking at it i'm gonna go take some photos i think that blush that blush oh that blush i just want to get in there and try them all on me um so Let's get out of here. Don't forget to tell your mum, tell your sister, tell your friends to come along and join this little community. If you have liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this look. If you've picked up this palette, if you're going to pick up this palette or anything else that you may want to see coming up. I really love to hear from you all. So until next time, take care. Bye.